Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophia. In case you're seeing my face for the first time, thank you for stopping by my channel. I really do appreciate. And for you that always keep coming back, mm, 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 I love you. Thank you so much. So this is a little what a cut wedding or how to go about a cut wedding in Nigeria based on personal experience, what to do and what not to do if you're planning a court wedding and all of that. So yeah, straight to today's topic. First of all, when you want to, or if you want to do a court wedding or you're planning to do a court wedding in Nigeria, I am telling you based on personal experience, I did my own court wedding in Port Harcourt registry. So yeah, I'm going to tell you everything that went down in Port Harcourt registry. Yeah. So first of all, you go to the registry First thing first, before planning your court marriage, you have to make sure you go to the court 21 days minimum before your main marriage or wedding date. If not, they are not going to hold it. I mean 21 days minimum, so it could be more than 21 days. Like me, mine was more than 21 days. I just gave myself time. I didn't want to rush anything. I wanted everything to be done one step after the other, no pressure. So this 21 days is basically for, I think we should go straight to 101, how you start. So when going to the marriage registry, first thing is to, you have to go with your pen, your stapler, change. This change is not necessarily for bribe, bribing or whatever. It's just for things like photocopy. So you don't have to be because nobody is doing for in protocol registry for example nobody is going to be giving you change or and the atm is not that close and all of that go with your pen go with two passports each one for yourself or one for your spouse but i'll advise you go with more than two passports maybe three each or four just in case they mess up with any of your passport but the passport you need to the correct amount is two passports for each person that's four passport what two for you and two for your spouse and you go go with as i said spare change and when you get there go straight to the marriage registry and to the account office when you go to the account office so there are basically two types of marriages they have the special marriage and the ordinary marriage the special marriage is cost i think about thirty four thousand something then the ordinary marriage that's like based in nigeria and all of that i don't know the many of whatsoever they were doing there but the ordinary marriage is twenty one thousand. that's the one i did and they have um, the one of sixty something thousand these are for couples that maybe stay abroad the husband is in abroad the wife is in abroad you get i think it's that expensive because they say some people just do the whole court marriage thing to jackpot or fraudulently marriage or you know this kind of contract marriage and all of that so i think that's why the price is a bit higher because they'll tell you they are paying government this one they are doing this one so when you go straight to the account office they are going to give you a form to fill so they'll tell you when giving you the form they'll tell you to pay 10k or whatever is scam stand on your ground that government said the prescribed fee is twenty one thousand, and you're not paying more when they see that you know what's up they won't even try to but when you get to the office you'll see a big um, post some um, saying that you the legible amount is 21k but i don't know the registry you're going to do your own so it might the price might be different so i'm not going to tell you okay when you go there go and be fighting mm -mm. so the price might be different or somewhat me so when you go there they'll give you a form to fill it's advisable if your spouse is in nigeria that you go with them so you fill the form because the form contains things like his father's name his mother's maiden's name why this one why some of so many personal informations you get so it's always advisable if both of you are in nigeria you go together but if both of you are not in the same location you can just he might just be asking you on whatsapp or message the information you send to him but make sure you fill the form correctly and from there they are meant to generate a code for you mm -hmm. but sometimes they might just tell you the machine is not working or whatever if you have a phone or internet you just generate a remitter i think i'm going to look for the link i think www.remitter.net something something you just generate remitter and take the code to the bank and just pay your money come back with the teller 
give it to them i think after giving it to them so you pay you go to the bank pay the 21k come back with the teller they register you in now for you're going to after doing all of those stuff you've gone to the bank you've paid your money you are going to be given a period of 21 days this 21 days is for public notice they are going to paste your pictures on the notice board for you get for announcement to make sure that um, you've not been married before you want to come and deceive people mm -hmm. They will post it for a period of 21 days, public notice, in case anyone has anything to say about your marriage or anybody is not in agreement, they could go to the court, you get, and raise whatever they want to raise, you get, just for some of you that want to come and deceive people, children, you have married before, you have not married before, they will put it public, 21 days, they will come and sit. So, for a period of 21 days, it will be there. So, I think after the okay after the 21 days then you will come back and pick a date that i'm telling you based on protocol registry you come back after 21 days after the 21 days if there is no um, nobody raised objection or whatever you come back and pick a date for your marriage or your wedding so on that date of the wedding please even if you are the first to get married in your lineage don't go with plenty people because for the particular hall I used, the hall was very small and on that day we were like almost six couple, four couple getting married. That I came late actually, so they said to go married earlier. So we we're like six couple that got married on that day. And some even wore a shwebi and the hall was very small. If you watch the court wedding video I posted earlier, you see the wedding hall is just like a classroom, very small, just about um, 15 seats and all of that. So I think it's just better you go with it, just the important people. For me, my parents were like very far, so they couldn't, they told me they can't come to court wedding, come to this one. And so I just did the court wedding, but my brothers came over. So it was just my brothers, my husband's friends, his parents, and um, all of that. So we're just like, just I think 10 or even less safe. But other people were like, and the whole place, like most of the people, like the couples getting married, they even get sit to sit. And it was annoying because these people are not the main people. The couple are the main people. And the guests, their whole guests refused to stand up for the couple. Some of the couple kept standing. The, the fan was not working. The whole place was hot. I felt so much pity for the brides that came with full makeup because some of them come with makeup you get after the court wedding. They just go and do a reception and all. I felt so sorry for them because they were all sweaty their whole wedding dress tight it was all not comfortable that was the main reason why i didn't want to do my court wedding and everything the same day the same, no i had i gave my own like two months after before i even like i rested before i started planning my whole white wedding and short and all of that so it's just good you go with minimum amount of people just little people you can maybe if you're planning a reception y'all can go to the restaurant or the wherever you're having your reception you can meet there but please don't come to the court with them it will look too clustered and you won't even be happy with the whole situation so when you get to the court you just wait for your turn if you people are planning to get married on that day like my situation you wait for your turn they will call you inside when you come inside but advisable when you're going to the court i'll advise you to go with your photographer mm, to bring your photographer along but i didn't do that because i didn't know but in my own situation in this particular registry they have their photographer and their photographer must snap you and you will pay the photographer i think the photographer is a bit fast because it was just right there he just sent us soft copy of the pictures and all of that because he was the only one allowed to take pictures when we're doing the whole signing and all of that so first thing when they called us up they said you both of us we if you are a christian or a muslim you use the bible or the quran you say okay you are going to forsake every other man every other woman is like a vow i know people don't vows are very serious so please if you're making any vow in this life take it serious because repercussions are bad we'll talk about that another day so we took vows forsaking all other man uh, da, 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 i don't know pledge or whatever so after the whole thing 
We brought our ring, gave it to them. They put it inside a tray. When it's free, I do it. I do it. With all my body, I do wash. So after the whole oh, vow, I think the vow goes like this. I, as long as you call your name, you, you, Amen. you, 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 you to pick your spouse, whatever is your spouse name, so 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 person as your blah 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 to to have and to hold better for wars, forsaking all other men all other women that uh, you stand with them forever yeah the vows is just just like that yeah so after the vows they'll proclaim you husband man and wife and they'll do small preaching admonition of word advise you people to show you just know what you are going into you understand but even if i think the admonition is even before y'all starts wearing the ring and all of that so after that, you can now go, they will dismiss you. You can now pan up, go and take pictures outside and go to your reception venue. Just as you please. I think that's just basically all about Nigerian court wedding. It's not something tedious. It doesn't have to do with so much long process and all of that. Just something very simple and easy. But another advice is I never, okay, I knew though, but there are churches with valid marriage certificate, just like, but just that there are people like us. I won't say there are people. There are people like me that just want to go to the court and do it in the court. But you can still go to your church straight because some church might not because i remember when i went to the church and told them that i've done court wedding and they were like why that they had marriage certificate why did i go they have a ma valid matrimonial cert why did i have to go to the court and all of that you get there are some church that are against it there are some churches that we even want you to come and tell them first that you are getting married you've seen a husband before you even do anything or even go and tell your parents so i think you should first consult your church and know you get because so you don't go into so much oh i'm sorry sir you know no i'm sorry sir you know nigerian we can be very dramatic especially when we're in power and when someone needs something from us so if you don't want to go through all those just try to know but if you are doing that inviting a pastor over to a garden or an, i don't think you just go and do your court wedding and wait for your wedding day and just run your matter as you wish but my own scenario when we went to the court the church they were like oh that them um, they are supposed to meet them first before you do anything but well i've already done all of that i've done most of the traditional rites and so guys we've come to the end of this video i hope it's helpful you planning on doing a court wedding going to do a court wedding or whatever i hope this video is helpful please click on the like button am i getting it the like button and also the subscription button and the post notification button just so you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for watching till this point see you in my next video baby happy married life soon to be bride and groom and whatever i wish you a stress-free life bye